way we travel between cities today, we either take the train or we fly or we take a coach or we drive. What we've ignored all along is that actually the biggest passenger uh, inventory uh, we have, it's not in trains, it's not in planes, it's not in, in buses or anything like that. It's actually all these empty seats in cars. We're actually building a transport network that was there all along. Our biggest challenge was build a website where John the driver is not a stranger to Jack the passenger. In a way, we've been helped over time by uh, you know, things like Facebook, social network, all kind of verification you can do online, so that slowly and over time we've built a trusted community and we've been able to lower that barrier of traveling with a stranger. At the beginning, we had lots of disbelief from the community. We had people saying, well, you know, if you get like 100,000 people to do that all over Europe, that'd be a miracle. Today, we have several millions, actually, uh, doing that all over Europe and, and still growing pretty fast.